The last prophet in the world, last prophet in the world, last prophet in the world to show how to be closer to Allah. He is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. During the Battle of the Trench or the Ditch, big group of armies, the Quraysh, some of the Jewish tribes, along with their other friend groups, started to move forward from their camps to attack Medina. When they saw the very long trench or ditch around Medina, they were surprised. They could not believe how the Muslims got that kind of idea. Because in Arabia, that kind of an idea was completely new. Some of the armies tried to cross the trench, but the Muslim soldiers stopped them by shooting arrows. Sometimes the enemies tried to fill some parts with dirt so that they could cross the trench, but the smart Muslim soldiers stopped them by throwing the arrows. The bad Abu Sufyan did not know what to do, so they had to wait for their opportunity. Every morning, the enemy group would try to cross the trench, but the Muslims were ready at all times to stop them by shooting the arrows and stones, because the Muslims knew that they were only a few of them compared to their enemies. At every moment, the Muslims were very careful to stop their enemies right away. That's why most of the time, the Muslims could not pray their prayer on time. It was a very bad time for the Muslims, and that bad time continued for many days. One day, suddenly, one small group of horsemen crossed the trench. Or the ditch, the brave Ali peace be upon him, and a few Muslims immediately attacked them and destroyed one of the strong bad or Aish. The others became very scared and ran away. In the battle of the trench, the only thing that they could do was throw their arrows at each other. In the south of Medina, there was a Jewish tribe. Banu Qurayda, who used to live there, these Jews had a peace agreement with the Muslims, and they promised that they would protect the south entrance and help the Muslims. When Banu Nadir Jewish tribe, the ones who basically arranged the battle, saw that even with ten thousand soldiers, they could not do anything to the Muslims. Because of the Muslims' trench idea, one of the bad Banu Nadir Jewish tribe leader went secretly to the south side of Medina, met with the leader of the Banu Qurayda Jewish tribe, Kaab bin Asad. Both Jewish leaders became friends and agreed to break the peace agreement with the Muslims. So they made some plans to harm the Muslims. That moment, the Muslims did not have a friend to support them. It was a terrible moment because they had big enemies from both the north and the south side. That became a very serious problem for the Muslims because all of their women and children were at the south side, next to the bed. Banu Qurayda Jewish tribe. When the Prophet heard about the Jewish tribe's evil intention, he sent two Muslims to check if that information was true or not. When they went to Banu Qurayda tribe, the Jews openly talked bad about the Muslims and the Prophet. In that situation, some of the Muslims became very scared. And wanted to leave the battlefield and go back to save their family. Prophet did not know 
what to do in that horrible moment. He laid down and covered his face with a piece of cloth for a long time because he was stressed. At that moment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him good news about the Muslims winning the battle and gave some idea how to solve that horrible situation. After getting that news, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam became very happy and stood up to give good news to the Muslims. He said to Muslima and Zaid peace be upon them with 500 soldiers to protect the women and children. The Prophet's aunt, Safiya peace be upon her, showed great braveness to protect the women and children from the Jewish spies. Since this was the opportunity to destroy all the Muslims, the bad people did not want to leave until their job was done. Because of that, the battle became longer and longer, and it continued for more than three weeks. Well, that's all for today. Also, did you know we opened a brand new channel called Muslim Heroes and Inventors. During the Golden Age of Islam, Muslims created many things that changed the world forever. To learn more, make sure you first have the notification bell turned on Ikra Cartoon so you don't miss any of our new updates. And then, Make sure you go and subscribe to our new channel and then share with all of your friends and family.